Battle of Corregidor. World War II, a conflict that spanned the globe, saw numerous battles that shaped its trajectory. Among these, the Battle of Corregidor stands out. Situated at the entrance of Manila Bay, the island of Corregidor became a strategic fulcrum in the Pacific theater. The confrontation between the United States with Filipino troops and the Imperial Japanese Army on this island had far-reaching implications, influencing the course of the war. In our exploration, we will examine the forces involved, the strategies employed, and the impact of the battle's outcome. This is a closer look at the Battle of Corregidor, a pivotal event in the timeline of World War II. Corregidor Island, often referred to as the Rock, is a tadpole-shaped landmass situated at the entrance of Manila Bay in the Philippines. Its strategic location made it a crucial component in the defense of the archipelago. It served as a key naval base for the United States, acting as a bulwark against potential invasions and protecting the capital city of Manila. In the late 1930s and early 1940s, the world was in turmoil. The aggressive expansionist policies of the Axis powers had plunged numerous nations into conflict. The Pacific Theater was a significant front in this global war, with the United States and its allies pitted against the Imperial Japanese forces. The Japanese had initiated a series of rapid invasions across the Pacific, aiming to establish a vast, greater East Asia co-prosperity sphere. As tensions escalated, Kurigido became a focal point in these conflicts. Its fall would mean a significant victory for the Japanese and a severe blow to the Allied forces. The stage was set for one of the most intense battles of the Pacific War, the Battle for Kurigido. Kurigido Island was a formidable fortress. Its defenses were designed to withstand both sea and air attacks. The island was fortified with a network of tunnels, the most notable being the Melinta Tunnel, which served as the headquarters of the Allied forces and a bombproof shelter. The island was also equipped with numerous artillery batteries, anti-aircraft guns and mortar units, making it a formidable obstacle for any invading force. The forces defending Corregidor were a mix of American and Filipino troops. The island was under the command of General Douglas MacArthur until he was ordered to relocate to Australia in March 1942. After his departure, the command was passed to Major General Jonathan M. Wainwright. The defenders, though outnumbered, were determined to hold the island. On the other side, the Japanese forces were led by General Mashura Huma. The 14th Army, which was under his command, was tasked with the invasion of the Philippines. The Japanese forces had superiority in terms of numbers and were backed by air support from the Japanese Air Force. The Battle of Corregidor began on the 5th of May 1942. The Japanese forces initiated the attack with an artillery barrage targeting the island's defences. This was followed by airstrikes, which aimed to weaken the fortifications and create a path for the ground invasion. On the night of May 5th, the Japanese launched their ground assault. They deployed a force of around 900 soldiers who landed on the island using rubber boats. The landing was met with fierce resistance from the defenders, who used their artillery and small arms fire to repel the invaders. Despite the initial resistance, the Japanese forces managed to establish a beachhead and secure their position on the island. The defenders, under the command of Major General George F. Moore, were heavily outnumbered but held their ground. They were spread thin across various sectors of the island, defending key points such as the Melinta Tunnel and the artillery batteries. On the other hand, the Japanese forces, led by Lieutenant General Mashura Homa, employed a strategy of continuous assault. They aimed to exhaust the defenders and exploit any weaknesses in their defense line. The Japanese also used their air superiority to continuously bombard the island, targeting the defenders' positions and supply lines. The battle raged on for several days, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. The defenders put up a valiant fight, but the continuous assault and lack of reinforcements and supplies began to take their toll. On May the 6th, a significant event occurred. The Japanese forces managed to capture Battery Denver, one of the key defensive positions on the island. 
This allowed them to bring more troops onto the island and tip the balance in their favour. Despite the desperate situation, the defenders continued to resist. However, by the afternoon of May the 6th, it became clear that the situation was untenable. Major General Wainwright, who was in command of the Allied forces in the Philippines, made the difficult decision to surrender. The Battle of Corregidor was a brutal and intense confrontation. It showcased the strategic importance of the island and the determination of the forces involved. The tactics and strategies used by both sides, from the initial artillery barrage to the final surrender, played a crucial role in the outcome of the battle. The intense fight saw the deployment of distinct strategies by the American Filipino forces and the Japanese forces, each with its strengths and weaknesses. The American Filipino forces, under the command of Major General George F. Moore and later Major General Jonathan M. Wainwright, focused on a defensive strategy. They utilized the fortified positions on the Corregidor, including the artillery batteries and the Malinta Tunnel, to resist the Japanese assault. Their strategy relied on holding key defensive positions and using their artillery to repel the invaders. The strength of this strategy lay in the formidable defenses of Corregidor. However, the weakness became apparent as the battle wore on. The defenders were heavily outnumbered and lacked the necessary reinforcements and supplies to sustain a prolonged defense. On the other hand, the Japanese forces, led by Lieutenant General Mashuhura Homa, employed a strategy of continuous assault. They used their superior numbers and air support to maintain pressure on the defenders. The strength of this strategy was its relentlessness, which aimed to exhaust the defenders. However, it also had its weaknesses. The Japanese forces suffered heavy casualties during the initial stage of the battle due to the strong defenses of Corregidor. The fall of Corregidor on May 6, 1942, marked a significant shift in the Pacific War. The defeat led to the occupation of the Philippines by Japan, a development that had far-reaching implications. The Japanese victory at Corregidor allowed them to consolidate their control over the Philippines. This was a strategic advantage as it provided them with a base of operations in the Pacific and disrupted Allied supply lines. The occupation also had a profound impact on the Filipino population, leading to a period of hardship and resistance against Japanese rule. However, the fall of Corregidor was not just a victory for the Japanese, it also marked the beginning of a determined resistance movement. The Battle of Corregidor had demonstrated the resilience and courage of the American and Filipino forces. Their determined defense, even in the face of overwhelming odds, served as a rallying point for the Allied forces in the Pacific. In the years that followed, the Allies would regroup and launch a counteroffensive in the Pacific. The recapture of the Philippines, including Corregidor in 1945, was a significant step towards the eventual defeat of Japan. The Battle of Corregidor therefore had a lasting impact on the course of World War II. Its repercussions were felt far beyond the shores of the tiny island, influencing the strategies and outcomes of the Pacific War. Undoubtedly, it was a significant event in the timeline of World War II, underscores the complexities and dynamics of war. It highlights the strategic importance of location, the impact of leadership and the consequences of tactical decisions. The battle's outcome shaped the course of the Pacific War, influencing future military strategies and geopolitical relations. While the battle is a part of history, its lessons remain relevant. It serves as a reminder of the intricate interplay of forces in war, the far-reaching implications of strategic decisions, and the profound impact such events have on the course of human history. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Battle of Corregidor. If you found this exploration insightful, we encourage you to continue learning about the pivotal events of World War II. Share this video with others who might be interested in understanding the complexities of this historical event. For more in-depth explorations of significant battles, historical events and their impact on our world today, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Your engagement helps us continue providing content that piques your curiosity and expands your understanding of history. Together, let's keep history alive.